and today I am gonna be showing you guys how to make these really cool faux caramel apples. These look really awesome. I'm very excited to show you guys how to make these. So these are not food. They, I, I keep showing them to people and people keep asking me if they're edible, but they are not. Um, nothing on them is. These are completely fake, but they look really cool, totally rustic, but also still look a lot like caramel apples. And I think they're just really awesome for fall. So real quick, let's go ahead. I'm going to show you guys how to make these super easy fall DIY craft caramel apples. So let's start by going over our supply list real quick. So what we're going to be using in this video is a fig apple, a knife, a stick from outside, a hot glue gun, a paintbrush, some caramel colored paint, some high gloss Mod Podge, some mini wooden sticks, some scissors, a small bowl, and an optional thing that I'm going to be using is some ribbon. So I decided that I was going to try out a green background for this video. Uh, and I think it looks even worse than the yellow. Still trying to find some good colors, but yeah, not doing green again. All right, so I'm going to start by getting my little fake apple here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull out the stem. And I just twist it and pull it right out. Super easy to pull out. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to get a knife. I'm going to use an X-Acto knife, uh, but you can use any kind of knife if you want. And I'm just going to cut a small circle around for the stem. And you just want to cut it all the way around and make it a little bit deeper. And then you're just going to pop that little piece of styrofoam out. Next, what I like to do is find my stick that I want to use and just see if your stick is a good size for your apple. Kind of give it a look. That looks really good. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is get my hot glue gun and just pour some hot glue down into that deep center that we cut out. And then we're just going to take our stick and press it all the way in. So next for the paint, I've got a nice caramel colored paint here. It's yellow okra by Folk Art, and it's a perfect caramel color. Um, I absolutely love this color, so I'm just going to pour a little bit into a little paint palette. So just so you guys know, I am in no way sponsored by Folk Art. Um, usually I just buy whatever the cheapest uh, paint is on the market, but I was actually looking for a caramel colored paint. I was enjoying fabrics, walking around, and then I spotted it, this very perfect paint here. And as you can see, I think it comes out as a beautiful caramel color. It was actually like the paint was in the wrong spot, but I absolutely loved it. A few days later, after doing these, I actually um, was at Walmart looking in the craft section like I do. And I actually saw that they sell folk art there too. Um, but yeah, I do have a link down in the description and on my website if you guys are interested. I did find some on Amazon if you're looking for this perfect caramel color because it is perfect. Next what we're going to do is we're just going to get our brush here and brush on our paint. I like to leave about half an inch from the top of the apple. This will just give it a nice like dipped in caramel look so it's not going all the way up to the top. And we're just going to continue painting this all the way around until you reach the bottom of the apple. And you're going to let this dry. Um, and then once it's dry after about eh, 30 minutes or so, add on another layer until you've got enough coats of this beautiful caramel color. So when I was doing this and I started painting, I was doing so many of these. I was doing like six of them all at one time and I realized something and that was that once I was done with the painting, I didn't really know where to put this to dry um, because I couldn't just set it on the stick or it would just topple over. So I ended up sticking them in places all over my house, like in drawers, in the toaster, um, unplugged toaster, of course, um, and all over. So definitely figure out a good place to kind of just wedge the stick in while these are drying because if you place them down flat, um, the paint on the bottom will come off. It's just not good. So do make sure that you find somewhere for these to dry before you start painting. Otherwise, you're gonna have these toppling over and getting paint everywhere. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get me a little clear bowl and my mini wooden sticks. 
And these little sticks are kind of like rectangular shaped. You know, they've got all these four edges on them. So they're not like the circular kind. And what I like to do is just get my scissors. These are super easy to cut through. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut them off into more of like little square pieces. You can kind of tilt your um, scissors, like kind of angle it a little bit to get some different shapes. We're just gonna get these to kind of look like little pieces of peanut like topping for ice cream. And then once you're done cutting it up, you should have about two to three tablespoons of cut up wooden pieces. So for the next part, what we're gonna do is we're going to get our apple here and you can see that this whole thing is nice and dry. It's got a beautiful layer of this caramel colored paint. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that high gloss Mod Podge and we're just gonna get a little brush here and brush all over where the caramel colored paint was. You don't wanna shine up the apple, so just make sure that you place it right over the paint. It'll just give that caramel that nice shiny look to make it look really realistic. And then what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna start sprinkling on some of those wooden pieces that we chopped up. And I like to start at the bottom of the apple and just kind of work my way up to the top. Really like to have a big like pack together coating at the bottom and just kind of fade like an ombre effect up to the top um, with less pieces at the top and more at the bottom. You guys get what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, it takes a little bit, but look at that. We've got it all covered up and what I like to do is just kind of roll our apple over top of the wooden pieces as well just to make sure that they're pressed in there real good. So once the Mod Podge has dried, you'll see it has like a nice shiny caramel look to it. Everything looks great, but I really like to add some ribbon to these. It looks super cute. So I get a seven inch piece of ribbon. And if you want to do this for like Halloween, you could do some like Halloween ribbon, but I've just got a little piece of orange and I just kind of cut the corners a little bit to give it that nice ribbony look. Add a little seven inch piece of green. That's like a smaller piece here and then just kind of make like a little knot, slip it over the top of my stick, get it down to the base and then tie it on and give it a little double knot to make sure that it's secure. All right, so there we have our finished caramel apples. As you can see, I did a whole bunch of these. They look even better in a group. I love these caramel apples. Again, I like the ribbons. I think they look even cuter with ribbon. Um, again, you can do this if you want with um, like Halloween ribbon. That would be really awesome. But I think these came out really cute. They are super easy to to make and I just absolutely love them and you know they don't go bad and you can keep them and use them year after year which is really awesome I think they came out super cute um, but let me know what you guys think about these I absolutely love them as I've said but yeah uh, still haven't figured out how to end these videos so yeah bye